But because he's anticipating you calling him, I would throw the ball at him right from there and then encourage him to bring it to you. Okay. So throw it right at him. Chip. Chip. Now tell him bring it. Hunter, or gunner. Encourage him more. You're too quiet. No. Play with him. Play with him. No owls. Why would he want to bring you the ball if it's right away and out? Let him win, then encourage him again. Gunner, play, play, play. Woo! Let him win. And he, good. Now play a little bit. Freeze up. Ask for the O-U-T. Good. Now let him hold it away from your body and let him take it again. No, don't hold it out of his sight. Let him bite it. If he wants to bite it, he can bite it. Right? If he, if he takes it without permission, there's a consequence. It's just that simple. Don't avoid the dog. So play a little bit with him here. Hey, Bubba. Yeah. The biggest mistake people make with these dogs is they're scared of all the intensity, so they try and avoid it and, and command around it. It's like, no, no. Embrace it. Embrace it. Embrace that intensity and start guiding it instead of just trying to run away from it. Good. O-U-T. Hold it away from your body. Let him take it. Give him the command. Yep. Good. When you start saying, yeah, like I'm not, I'm not afraid of you taking the ball. I mean, if you take the ball without my permission, there's a consequence. But I'm going to always give him the ability to take the ball. Good. Play a little bit. Play a little bit. Let him win. And encourage him right away. Don't be quiet. Good. There you go. Now freeze up and ask. Well, it's okay. Yeah. And always play a little bit before you make the O-U-T. Good. Now. Now you can hold it in your right hand or put it away and ask for some obedience. And then reward him with a little tug. And never chase the dog, eh? He always must come to you. So if he runs around, you just back away from him. Yeah. Okay. O-U-T. Okay, now put the ball wherever you're going to put it. Okay. All right. Now ask him for a command. Now ask him to heal. Heal. Or it would be foos, I think. Yeah, for him it's foos. Slow down. Look, he wants to go fast. Why are you going fast? Are you dictating the heal or is he? Good boy. Turn left into the dog. Slowly. There you go. Don't trip over him. Good boy. Give him, tell him the plots. Good. Now tell him Foos again. Good. Back this way. Good. Halt. Good. Now you can take the ball. Give him the chip and throw it for him. Chip. Very good. Encourage him. Never leave him. Never leave him in a place where, like, you're being quiet, right? Like a lot of people do that. Like the dog's just running with the ball. There's no, nothing, no signals being given. Always encourage the dog. Bring it here. Bring it here. Bring it here, until he really knows you and he knows the rules. Good. There. And now give the command and put the ball in his face. You still allow the ball to go. Ouch. Don't pull it away ever. Put the ball in his face. Push it into his face. Good. Ouch. There you go. Make the com make the com correction if he takes it without your permission. Give him permission, but don't let go. Now play hard. Okay. Freeze up. Ask again. Ouch. Push it into his face. There it is. Don't avoid it. Ouch. Exactly. That's the worst thing that can happen. No problem. Good. Now put the ball away. The more you try to rip that ball away from him, the more he wants the, not only that, you're putting yourself in danger of getting tagged. Your, the ball always ends up next to your body. Guess what? He's trying to go for the ball. He's going to nail you. Don't, don't, don't miss that. Good. So I always keep the ball out in the way. It's like if he's going to tag anything, you could have tagged the ball. No problem. I don't mind if he takes a cheap shot on the ball. That's easy enough to deal with. When he takes a cheap shot and hits me, then we've got ourselves a problem. Excellent. Yes. Now tell him the plots. Plots. Good. Now leave him. Walk away. But what? Plots? Plots. Good. Plots. Plots. 
Good. Now leave him and always watch him. And if he gets up without permission, then you make a correction. Plots, plots, plots. Good. And now you work on this. He's showing you this is difficult for me. So obviously the solution here would be to not call him when you get far. The solution here is to get him just stable here. Plots, repeat if he gets up. Plots, plots, plots. No, you will go far. But you will never break him from far. Because he's showing you that he's anticipating that. And that's going to be a big problem. Plots, plots, plots. Be hard on him when he gets up. He's always expecting you to call him. And when you reward him for holding the plots, you will always reward him in the plots here. You will not break him away from the plots or you will come to him and break him. So he stops anticipating when you get out to X distance that he's going to break.